Yeah, it's funny how, how sometimes, anyway, this is a bang bang rail. It's funny how sometimes people think they, 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 they talk without even thinking the game. Yeah, could you beat Billy Williams? Could Billy Williams build a bomb beat you? We was mates. We was in Wandsworth and we boxed together. We fought together. Anybody that was a paedophile, anybody that was bullying people, me and Bill said about them. There wasn't nothing. We, we didn't look at, upon each other as who could beat who and who could beat the other one. When I knocked someone out, Bill knocked someone out, or Bill knocked someone out, I did knock someone out. So the, he couldn't say that, you know what I mean? I couldn't say I could beat Bill, and Bill would not say he could beat me. It's as easy as that. But when I fought Roy Shaw, me and Roy, uh, got in the ring, Roy up me big time, the first time I got in with, 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 and with Roy and spied with Roy, yeah? But a couple of weeks down the line, I got in with Roy and I hurt Roy. And between me and you, I feel that I could have beat Roy. But I didn't want to fight Roy, I wasn't interested in fighting Roy. It's the same as Len. But Lenny, I was just spied with Lenny. Lenny had a go at me. No, I didn't have a go at Lenny. Lenny had a go at me when I fought Brian Hall Right, when I was on that, on that video called Box On, Lenny was there. And Lenny pulled me outside the ring and said he would have bashed Brian all up. He had knocked him spark out. Whether or not he would have done is another thing. Right? And he said, oh, I'd have killed him and all that game. And then he started having a go at me. He said, oh, I'd fight you. And he said, I said, we'll have a go at talk to, to my manager, Jimmy Tibbet. Right? So then I thought I could beat Lenny. Because when we got in the, when we, when, when we went down the ring, uh, uh, Vic Andretti's pub, and we used to spar there, and they cut the sparring sessions. I thought that I could beat Lenny. It's as easy as that. Me sparring, I thought that I could beat him. Like when I got in the ring with Brian Hall, I never knew Brian Hall. I got in the, I got in that ring to fight Brian Hall and to beat him. Even though it was a draw, I still thought that I'd beat him. It's the same as Kevin Paddock. Kevin Paddock, good pro. Me and Kevin got in the ring, fought. I thought to myself that I would beat Kevin Paddock. It become a draw. Kevin Paddock, good fight. Kevin Paddock beat Lenny McLean. So because Kevin Paddock beat Lenny McLean, everybody thinks that I would have beat Lenny because I beat Kevin Paddock. Perhaps that's their right. Perhaps they're right. I fought Sid Paddock. Me and Sid Paddock drew. Sid Paddock, good fighter. I drew with Sid Paddock. You know, Sid Paddock, Sid Paddock uh, got beat by by uh, John O. Gardner. Easy, yeah. But I fought Sid Paddock, and it was a hard fight, but I still thought that I won, but it was a draw again. There's a few fights, even on a cliff field, me and Cliffs, when we mucked about, we had a couple of rounds at the at uh, the Mayfair, not the Mayfair, sorry, 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 Cats Whiskers Streatham. Me and you had a couple of rounds at there when we were setting it all up. And I, <laughs> and I thought, me and Cliff would have a good fight. I thought, personally myself, right, that Cliff was a banger. And you could hit Cliff with a sledgehammer and not hurt him. So you'd have to consistently, consistently hit him on the chin to knock him over. You couldn't just give him one bang and knock Cliff, Cliff Fields out. No way. But you'd have to cons consistently, consistently. And me and Cliff was with 16 ounce, not 8 ounce or 12 ounce, 16 ounce gloves, was sparring in the Cat's Whisker Streatham. Right? And we went down the scrapyard and we've had a few rounds in there mucking about. But I thought, right, that me and him should get together and have a right good fight, me and Cliff. When I fought uh, down the Harvey, when I used to fight quite a lot down a club called the Harvey Social Club in Woolwich, yeah? Quite a lot I used to fight there. Yeah? Quite a lot. And I think I've had about, I don't know, 25, 30 fights there. Yeah? There and the catch was to Streatham. Loads. I had loads of Guildford as well. And Guildford used to fight. Uh, when I get hold of uh, Kevin Paddock, it's going to be Kevin Paddock, it's going to be sh very soon now, because he told me to phone him in the new year and give him a week's, uh, a week, you know, to get it sorted all sort of out. So when we make a date, and we're going to make a date and I'll be there, yeah? Uh, I'd love to talk to Kevin Paddock. There's a lot of people out there uh, maybe forget about all that because they're a lot younger than what me and Kevin are and a lot younger than a lot of the fighters are, you know what I mean? Um, most of the fighters now, in my time, are dead. A lot of them are dead, mate, you know what I mean? You know, and uh, there isn't many left. Red Rupp, I think, when is Red Rupp still alive? I'm not quite sure. Uh, who else? Who else? Columbo's dead. 
Uh, Lloyd Waltham, he might be a Lloyd. I, I've been told that he was dead. I, well, a good fight, Lloyd, Lloyd Waltham. But a lot of them are dead now, mate. And there isn't many as, as me are maybe left out of all this lot, you know what I mean? I mean, Lou Yates, Lou. Good fighter, Lou, you know. Lou could have a scrap. Never seen any fight. It's only what I heard him talk about. A lot of people said that he disrespected a few people. He dis I know for a fact that he disrespected Cliff Fields. There's no way in a million years that when he walks into a pub, Cliff Fields see him, shit himself and turn his back towards him. No way. There's no way Cliff Fields is bottle jobbing for, uh, with Lou, yeah? Because I think Lou would, Cliff Fields would have smashed Lou to pieces. He would have just banged him all around the gaff, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, Lou Yates fought Roy Shaw. Uh, Roy Shaw beat him. Roy Shaw shit himself when he had to fight Cliff Fields. He didn't want to fight Cliff Fields. He knew he had no chance with Cliff Fields. He knew that, and he said that openly. So Lou really had no rights to say that about Cliff Fields. No rights to say that about Cliff whatsoever. And I still hold a bad grudge about that. You know what I mean? I don't like the way, he's, the way he said that. He should never have said that about Cliff Fields because Cliff Fields was a proper fighter and he was a proper mate of mine, you know, proper, proper mate of mine. And as far as I was concerned, there's not, no one would have beat Cliff Fields in his prime when he was unlicensed fighting. Nobody. And I mean that, you know. There's nobody. Um, who else was about? I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, sh uh, people worked in bars and all that that I'd fought, you know. A lot of people, bouncers and all that. I fought loads of bouncers. Loads and loads of bouncers, you know what I mean? Uh, big guys, big, big guys as well, you know what I mean? Uh, there was like, I mean, when I used to have my shows in Acton Town Hall, my own shows in Acton Town Hall, yeah? Um, when, I used to fought, when I used to fight my mate, Joe uh, Colin Cracknell, fights, mate, um, proper fights. And Colin really banged on the chin once and he knocked me spark out. I had to nut him, get pulled him in and nut him. my own show. He'd have mugged me right off and I had to do that, you know what I mean? But we've had some good fights. The first fight I fought down there, I fought a gravity everywhere, I forget his name. He hit me on the chin, mate. He rocked me a few times, but I knocked him out, you know. I mean, one thing I could do, I was, which I could do, was bang. I was a very good banger, mate. I was a good banger, and when I hit, hit you on the chin, you, nine times out of ten, you would go over. You know what I mean? Sixteen ounce or eight ounce or twelve ounce clubs, you'd go over, bang, if I hit in the chin, all over, mate. Anyway, it's just really about me and uh, Billy Williams, really. Um, I got, I got went a bit further with it, but um, a lot of people have said, "Would you have beat Billy Williams?" Bill the bar me and bashed you up right like easy. No, he wouldn't have bashed me up easy, mate, because I I wouldn't have let it happen like that. You know, me and Bill would never box fought each other anyway. We'd never have had a fight. Um, I've seen him fight. I've seen him fight. I've seen him fight. He's seen me fight. We both used to hurt people in ones of prison. We used to both used to bash people up in ones of prison together. Uh, he couldn't say he was knocking him out better than I was, and I couldn't say I was better, knocking him out better than he was. But as far as fighting concerned, I didn't think he was no special, more special than me. No way, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, um, who else? There ain't no one else, really. There's a, a lot of people that that I can put on this, but I just want to do a quick, short, short, short video, yeah? Get it done. It's a bit misty in here. Uh, I don't know what's happened to me. Camera, camera's gone a bit potty, potty yeah? So anyway, um, I'm going to do uh, one with fish um, in a week, me and fish. I'm doing one with uh, KON TV and a guy called Lewis, uh, Lewis Carter, I think his name is. I'm doing one with a guy called Lewis Carter. I like him. He's an um, ex, ex um, what, gangster? Not gangster, I suppose. What is he? What is not a gangster? He was, he was, on, he was um, an enforcer and he also had gangs in Wandsworth and all around there, yeah? So he's got a good story to tell, and I love his story. His dad was a good old member. He was a good old member. It doesn't matter about people getting nicked, about people getting nicked and being put away for armed robbery, because they only get nicked for that one. But they might have done 50 more, you know what I mean? But that's how life is. When they do anything like that, it's a day called catch them, and you're gonna get nicked, so you're gonna get put away. It goes without saying, you know, it doesn't, you don't get many of them that last you know, on that game. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button and subscribe and good night, yeah? Bye.